In the Pixelogic documentation, you can go to User Guide, navigate to Customizing ZBrush, and you'll find Z Scripting. If you press Z Scripting, under this menu, you'll find most of the things you need to learn Z Script. One of the main things you're going to be coming to a lot is the command reference. Command reference will show you all the different commands you can use in Z Scripting. Here we can see the I button command that we saw on the macro and the Z, the Z script that we created. There's a lot to it, but don't get discouraged. It's actually quite simple once you get used to it. If you scroll all the way down to the bottom of the page, you'll find an index with most of the commands available for Z, for Z scripting. For example, here is the I press command that we just saw in the macro. If I press here, it will take me to the I press command. And here it tells you what it does presses a ZBrush or ZScript interface item and it says sublevel only, something I will talk about in later videos. And here is how you use it. So you get these brackets, I press, comma, and then the path that you can get by pressing control over any button in ZBrush. An easy and faster way to, to find a command here in this page, pressing F3 and writing down a command that you're looking for, I button. And you can use these arrow keys until you find the right command. Here we go, I button. And we're back to I button. If you Google Z script, you're going to find uh, Z script Z Doom, which is a scripting language used for creating creating mods for the game Doom. So every t if you want to look for Z script, the best thing to do is just write down Z script ZBrush. And this will bring you to the Pixelogic page. Now, a great resource you can use is to go to the forum. If you read Zscript forum, it will bring you to the Z ZBrush Central. And here you can look for something in this forum. There's a lot of good information about Zscripting and ZBrush in general. And you can look for something here, like, for example, I button. And there's a lot of topics that might answer some of your questions. So these are the two main resources for Zscripting. The ZBrush Central Forum and the Documentation User Guide. Now the User Guide doesn't actually have all the commands for ZBrush and some of these commands are actually deprecate, deprecated, which means they don't work anymore. A way you can access all the current commands is by going to ZBrush, Zscript, and press these export commands. Then you can choose a place where you want to save it. And if you open it up in this text editor, you'll get all the current commands that are available in the ZBrush version that you're using at the moment. It's quite a lot of them. It could be a bit intimidating, but don't get intimidated by it. You'll learn them pretty fast. And obviously, obviously you're not going to use them all. As you can see, we got the I press command right there that we already used when we recorded that macro. Don't forget to like this video if you want to see more videos like this. Subscribe, support me on Gumroad, and I'll see you in the next video.